as we all know the new Cisco exam CCNAX to be exact has a has a topic called net flow which is one of the new I would say new topics that greatly increase the value of a CCNA in the environment but what is net flow the key to understanding net flow is look at this typical net flow architecture from our favorite Wikipedia as you can see net flow is a Cisco invention that allows a net flow collector to get net flow packets coming from a net flow exporter so to speak so what is actually net flow and what's the difference between net flow and wireshark packet capture well we will see later what's the difference but basically when you say net flow when for example this computer sends data to this laptop that's one flow NetFlow allows you to collect all the traffic being from sent from one node to the other. Now, a good way to study NetFlow is to learn what are NetFlow collectors. So there is a great website called Flixer.com that allows you to install an evaluation copy of a NetFlow reporting and analysis tool. So I will show you how to install this tool and later we will configure our Cisco router, this one, R1, to send NetFlow information into our scrutinizer NetFlow analyzer. All right? The diagram will be quite simple. We would have a router, this is our voice router and we would have IP phones over here okay NetFlow will be used to analyze all the phone conversations okay so our first step would be to install a NetFlow analyzer okay so I'm installing my NetFlow Windows Analyzer I go on next accept just choose the default um, this is for the SMMP community just click on public and let's install now while installing okay as you can see NetFlow is still installing I mean NetFlow analyzer so while this finishing up I'd like to show you an interesting website so computerjobs.com is a website it's an it's a US based company that basically <coughs> deals with purely IT jobs now if I do a search for NetFlow related I would see that NetFlow is actually being required for network engineers in the US for example let's click this job as you can see uh, although the salary is not indicated the required ex experience is five to seven years and if you browse browse down to the requirements you'd actually see NetFlow as one of the key tasks that they are looking for okay so it's somewhere here <laughs> there we go senior network engineers also would require require NetFlow analysis so 
it's really a requirement if you want to level up so to speak into your next career okay so finally our scrutinizer has finished installing so we click on finish I close the readme file here okay so let me just pause the video for a while okay after installing um, scrutinizer let's log in with the default username and password log in. okay let's just wait for it so as you can see I'm under a 30-day evaluation which should not be a problem so let's not just uh, do much changes okay so this would be the output okay so it's waiting for packets to flow inside the analyzer so let's now go to our Cisco router yes our ever reliable Cisco router this one so if you notice my IP address is 131 well the IP address of my NetFlow collector would be 130 uh, I'm sorry 1.30 so they will need to communicate alright so let's begin in Cisco first is we'd have to say config T as usual followed by the command IP Ceph or Cisco Express forwarding you can follow it up with IP Ceph okay some models support this and some do not so in my case it's not supported so I go inside my interface I type the command IP flow ingress okay in older Cisco models this would be the command I could also use that command it reduces the same results after configuring the the interface for the route flow I would need to set okay the version so currently so it, it has versions 1 to 9 so um, the best practice industry practice um, although we would prefer the latest model right but 5 would be the best supports on a wide variety of platform after specifying the version we would now need to specify the destination address of where would we want to send our net flow in our case we'll be sending it at 130 so we need to specify the IP address here which is 192.168.1.30 and specify the port number of 2000 that will be the destination and we would also need to specify the port number of um, the source interface of fast Ethernet 00. Okay. Okay, so after we set that let's try to initiate some sort of traffic so that traffic will be flowing so I'm going to my ever reliable command prompt in my box so I will try to ping my router and try to get some data okay ping that one 
now I try to connect to my Cisco router but I don't have a password okay just that was quick so um, just a few tap um, few commands so if you look at the NetFlow collector or analyzer you would notice that flows have been detected okay and please wait while scrutinizer prepares the initial report so we would be we need we need to wait for a few moments for this thing to finish its report although from Cisco there are a few commands you can type so that, that you would know that NetFlow is running so if you go back to Cisco the first command would be show IP flow export as you can see these are the interfaces and there are 14 flows that had been exported the second command will be IP cache flow okay now this is a bit more technical okay it shows all the packets being sent and received now if you really want to be to have uh, lots of technicalities you change this to verbose flow now the here remember that we have pinged our router and telneted our router right so from the show commands you would know that yes it was able to send telnet as well as ping because we did ping our router a few moments ago right let's ping this again okay and now we would need to give more traffic by enabling the web server I go back to my telnet port So I did connect to the Cisco port 80 and if I go back to my cache flow as you can see TCP IP TCP top uh, the World Wide Web has been captured as well so it goes, it goes to show that NetFlow, NetFlow export is running right so to just to summarize the commands we have done so basically these are the commands um, enable NetFlow set the import and export that's it now let's check if our scrutinizer was able to detect okay so still making the analysis still making the analysis so it's still preparing for the report let me just post the video